Hey guys, it's Doro and yeah, and I hope you guys are doing good. And I just um, yeah got out of the studio actually. Um, it's early here. I'm in LA and yeah, and I'm happy to talk to you guys and answer your questions. And I think we have a couple of questions which you guys put in already. So yeah. So, is there any information about the new album that you can give away to fans? Yes, yes, yeah, the new album is in the making and um, oh, I think it's, 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 it's really great and 80% is done of the recording and one of my favorite songs is Raise Your Fist in the Air and I think the work title for the album is Raise Your Fist and I probably want to go with it. I think it's a, it's a good metal title about rebellion and yeah fighting for the good stuff and um, and I have uh, just been uh, working with somebody which I love so much and they will probably be du a duet on the album and yeah with some of my you know favorite um, people to work with and um, yeah and the song is called it still hurts and yeah I first have to uh, you know get um, all the approval and stuff so I can't tell you the name but it's 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 the one and only <laughs> and um, yeah we have um, a couple of more songs one is like an anthem it's uh, it talks about victory and I think I could imagine that it would be a great sports anthem something like burn it up and um, yeah it's a mixture between burn it up and all we are and um, then I have a very political song on the album. It's um, it's called Human Rights, and I want to do it in English and in German. And in German, it will be called Human Rights Freiheit, and that means freedom. Yeah, and uh, great people are playing on the record, and I recorded all over the world in Hamburg, in New York, in New Jersey, and now in LA, and. Uh, I think it will be it will be great and the first single will probably come out in the summertime and the album in autumn and yeah and I will be on all these festivals again so I hope you guys you know come up and check out the show and you know I would be so happy to see you and uh, yeah I just uh, did uh, the that metal show yesterday too and I think it went very well and I was a guest with uh, two guys of the cult and we became really good friends. It was so much fun to do and I saw Michael Schenker, he was uh, doing the show after, uh, like they always take two shows in one day. So he was yeah, on the second show and it was great to see him again. We have played together many, many years ago on a great festival, the Monsters of Rock Festival in 1986. That was one of my biggest festivals in my life and yeah and it was awesome yeah it was great to see everybody Eddie Trunk was super super cool and the other guys too Don and Jim so the whole that metal team was absolutely awesome and all the production people everybody was so nice supportive and yeah, it was great <laughs> okay so is there any chance of an all-female tour in North America sometime in the future an all-female tour. All oh, female. that's a good idea. Yeah, we have nothing planned, but man, guys, that's that's a great idea, and yeah, we should think about it. And yeah, usually I, I always try to have like some support bands, like with a female singer or female musicians. Um, but yeah, so far that's that's a good idea, but not uh, not in in the making now. But yeah, I definitely wanna wanna think about it. And, you guys have to let me know who, who we should tour with. So maybe you have your favorite artist. So ha has your movie Anuk Path of the Warrior been released in the in the United States? If not, when can we expect it? Oh yeah, it's an independent movie, so I don't know with the release it's always it's always tough, it's difficult. But um, yeah, you can definitely yeah, get it on import. I know it's probably pretty pretty pricey, but um, I think officially released it. No, I don't think so. But we are talking about doing the second part. And the producer, Lou Gasser, who is from Switzerland, he is, um, yeah, 
yeah, just like yeah, doing a new script and, yeah, and I will definitely be a part of it again. He asked me and I said, yes, I would love to do it. And um, so, so the second part maybe will get filmed next year. And we hope that this one gets like an official release. But yeah, like it is with, with records, sometimes you know they're great, but it's uh, it's hard to put them out worldwide and to get the right distribution. But we're hoping definitely for the second part. Maybe we can then part one and two do that in one package. And, yeah, I will push for it. So. How do you take care of your voice before a show? Is there any special tea or, or exercise or drink that you do before going on stage? Uh, actually, mm, I I don't even like I don't even like do anything. Just like um, when I hear the fans and when I see the fans, that's like ah, that's what puts me in the right mind frame. And uh, like you guys know, the fans that means everything to me, everything and this will you know never ever change and um yeah i just need, need the energy of the fans and then i'm ready i'm ready to rock sometimes you know i when i have a bad cold or when the tour is long then i have some little um yeah i chew some gum to keep the vocal cords moist and yeah when it's getting really bad i have some tea with honey on, on stage actually usually I just drink water and Gatorade I'm addicted to Gatorade because it always gives you so much power you know when we play long shows like sometimes two and a half three hours and then in the middle of the show having a zip of Gatorade oh it always like you know yeah gets you energy back and you know and then the show can go on but actually I don't do yeah don't do much before I go on just like yeah I need to you know I need to go on stage, see you guys, and then everything is okay. And, yeah, and I'm, I'm so happy, and I'm, I'm so grateful for that too. And it's um, it's it's the best feeling in the world. And and what you guys give me, I always have the feeling I have to give it back like ten times because it's you know it's it's what I live for. And you know, and thank you guys. It's like it's. It's been great. All the last uh, 29 years have been so awesome. Yeah. I love you, metalheads. So with that said, has there ever been a time that you've lost your voice or forgotten your lyrics while you're on stage? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, losing the voice was actually... I can always sing. Even when I'm sick as a dog, somehow the voice is always there when it needs to be. And, and forgetting the lyrics, yeah very very rarely but it it has happened and then i just weasel my way through and you know make up some new lyrics and um yeah but it's um it's usually i guess it you know it becomes second nature and it's almost in your blood and so you know even when we play a three hour show i yeah i hardly forget lyrics sometimes when i'm really sick when i have a fever um you know and when when i'm yeah, when I don't feel, you know, you know, healthy, then oh, then it's it's sometimes tough. But yeah, but usually it's yeah, usually it will work. And yeah, but here and there a little work. I guess it's you know it's human. So you always ask your fans what are our favorite songs live. But let's turn it around and ask you what's your favorite song to perform live. Ah. Oh yeah, guys, that's a good question. Oh, my favorite songs, man, I have I have tons of favorite songs. It always depends on my mood and um, you know, on the, you know where I'm at. And from the anthems, I love "All We Are" and "Burning the Witches," um, "Burn It Up," and then the ballads. I love "Für Immer." I love "Love Me in Black." Uh, I'm dying. Above the Ashes, um, Herz Blut, and, um, and heavier stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, I love to open up with Earthshaker Rock, going into Hellbound, or going into I Rule the Ruins. And um, I still love yeah, old songs too, like, you know, like um, Metal Racer, and, um, and from the different songs, like. Um, you know, different style. I love fortune tellers so much. 
and all the stuff I have written with Gary Scruggs, he's actually one of my my favorite, favorite guys in music and he's in Nashville and we wrote so many songs together and um, if you guys like soulful stuff, that's, you know, that's usually you know, the most soulful melodies and songs and lyrics. And I like political songs too, like on the last record, Fear No Evil, I lay my head upon my sword, that was one of my favorites. And, um, yeah. and I, I love each song for, you know, for different reasons and I think, I would say, all the songs we have in our set list, the ones we play live, I love. And The Night of the Warlock, of, co of course, from the last one, and um, Running from the Devil, and uh, God, and so many, so. Are there any songs that you don't perform live because you don't like them anymore? Ah, uh, yeah, there are actually, this particular one song, um, it's uh, <laughs> of the True Steel album, and I never liked it, and you know, back in the day, um, I mean, on one hand, the 80s were great, everything was like much, you know, bigger, and like it was, um, it was awesome in many ways, but in other ways, like as a musician, sometimes you didn't have the freedom to do exactly what you wanted to do. And there's one record, it was the True Steel album, our third record. And there's one song on it, it was called Igloo on the Moon, and I would never ever play that live. I yeah, I definitely don't like the song and um, and had some beautiful lyrics before for that song and then somebody else came in and tweaked the lyrics and uh, I had to sing this album actually uh, under tears, I must say. And that's one of the songs which I would never play live. And, yeah, maybe I can make friends with it in a couple of years, but so far. So that's like... Yeah, my ultimate hate song, Igloo on the Moon. So have you ever thought about forming a super group or an all-female band? Oh, actually no, I, I have never thought about it. And I think in the end it doesn't matter if male or female, you know, it's uh, it's what what's in your heart. And we're all metalheads, so I think that doesn't really matter. An all uh, star band, yeah. Sometimes you know, I thought, oh, this would be nice to have, yeah, like musicians you admire, like. Oh. But um, you know, we haven't done it. And, but I'm always so happy when, when great people play on our records, or when I can sing a duet with somebody really special. And I have done so many duets with all my favorite people, and yeah, and there will be still more to come. And yeah. And one is in the making and uh, what we were talking about it like in the beginning and I think oh, it's, it's beautiful but uh, it has to be mixed and has to be you know like yeah there's a little bit more work involved but I think it's killer so working with great people is always like oh, it's so I think it's always a highlight on each album but doing an all-star band I wouldn't want to do it because I love my guys in my band and you know I wouldn't want to you know put that in danger and and we are yeah, playing together now for so many years I have a wonderful bass player Nick Douglas he's in the band for 21 years we're almost going into you know, the 22nd year and my drummer Johnny D he's uh, with us for 19 years so these two guys they are absolutely great and my best friends and then we have uh, great people in the band which are newer. Bas Mars, he used to be the guitar player of After Forever. He came into the band, I think, uh, two and a half, three years ago. That's awesome. Then we have Luca from Italy. He plays guitar and keyboards. And when we're in the States, when we tour here, we have somebody very nice. His name is Harry and he's awesome too. And he plays keyboards and guitar as well. Harrison Young is his you know, full name. And is super so I wouldn't want to you know put this great thing in danger and, but here and there doing a collaboration I think that's good what are some of your female musicians that are out there now or that were out there before which I like yeah ah yeah I, I like a lot yeah actually uh, the first female singer I really fell in love with was uh, Janis Joplin and I loved Anne Wilson of Heart and Lee Aaron from Canada 
and um, now I love so many, so many ladies. Arch enemy, of course. Angela is like great, you know. I think she's an awesome singer, and um, Taya, the ex singer of Nightwish, we're actually great friends, and I'm pretty much friends with many, many female uh, musicians and singers, and yeah, and all my friends. They're actually on the last album of Fear No Evil, we did a full metal female version of the song Celebrate, and they are all my friends on it, like from death metal, thrash metal, to melodic metal, to old school metal, to um, yeah, classical metal, and I think it all worked. So, so guys, check out the full metal female version of Celebrate, and they are all, all the people I love. And, and, and of course, there are many more great ladies which I haven't met yet. But uh, yeah, I've never met uh, Joan Jett. I always, you know, thought she was so cool, and um, yeah, um, so many great girls and ladies. And, yeah. and I support, like I support, like all the female musicians and the female metalheads, and mm -hmm, I love that. And actually, we have been on tour with so many bands where the female fronted singer, like on the last tour, it was Crypteria and uh, they have a singer, she is I think half German, half Korean, Jean is her name, and she was great, and we toured with Benedicto, Veronica Freeman, she has an awesome voice, I love her, I love her so much, and uh, yeah, so many, and then the Girls of Girls School, we toured, uh, or oh, actually, we know each other oh, since the early 80s, so, yeah, rock on female rockers, so you stated in the past that you stopped wearing leather on stage because you didn't want to harm any more animals. Mm -hmm. Are you involved with any organizations that deal with animal cruelty or animal welfare? Yeah, actually I did a lot uh, with PETA and uh, and actually I do, you know, always like benefits concerts. It's called um, Rock for Animals and Animals in Need and I, yeah, I do whatever I can. I love animals. And, oh, favorite animals are dogs and horses and that's the only thing when you know when you're on the road when you're a musician it's hard to have a, a dog you can take care of you know of another you know um, yeah animal it's it's yeah but I, I love animals and whatever I can do I, I want to do and here and there sometimes you know we do some yeah benefits concerts or you know I try to try to get involved in you know like in local things so, so when we are on tour sometimes it's so great some fans they always they, you know they bring their dogs and for me just to hug and pet and yeah and it's 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 great and yeah and I'm you know I'm involved in, in an organization they they especially take care of like abused animals which oh God, I think it's it's unbelievable that yeah what people can do but yeah I take care of a, of a lot of stuff and um, yeah and I I think yeah PETA it's the biggest organization I think man they're pretty you know they're pretty powerful and um, yeah and they're very serious about it I think that's that's great and, and it's true yeah I don't wear real leather leather anymore on stage and this one looks like leather but it's not and sometimes you know I still have my old leather jackets and sometimes yeah I still have some, yeah, some real leather stuff, but um, usually I try not to, not to have the real deal. And I think the fake leather is just as good. It's great. You can wash it, clean it, and no animals got harmed. So I, I love it. So who are your influences today, and why? Ah, oh, my influences. Ah, oh, I, I love so many people, and I still must say, all the people who inspired me in the 80s I still love I still love Lemmy I'm still a huge Ronnie James Dio fan even though he's not anymore here on our you know in our metal world but I hope you know that uh, we meet up again in heaven <laughs> and he is still yeah one of the ultimate singers and I still love to listen to him I love um, Rob Halford, Judas Priest, Wasp I love Blackie Lawless Except you know, um, I yeah, I love Rammstein a lot and um, all kinds of good stuff. Megadeth, Metallica, um, Rage Against the Machine, Danzig, 
Ja, Gott, so will ich so meine ja. Is there any chance of a Warlock reunion tour? Oh, a whole tour, that will be difficult. But here and there are some festivals. And yeah, I got uh, the right to the name back many years ago now, but there was always like a little, you know, there was always a little problem. So, so we can use the name Warlock again, which I'm so happy about. Yeah, we did some festivals, actually. We just uh, did a couple of festivals in, in Europe, in Wacken we played, um, in Spain. And the Metal Way Festival, we did a headlining gig, and which was awesome. So, so there's nothing planned now, but yeah, maybe in the future here and there. But a whole tour, I doubt it, because some of the ex Warlock band members they wouldn't even want to do it anymore. And um, one guy completely gave up music, doesn't even play anymore. So, yeah, so it would be hard to get all the old people together. But you know, yeah. Maybe with a different lineup, it, uh, it would be impossible. It wouldn't be impossible, but no plans yet. So, for the last question, the fans want to know what is the easiest way to annoy you? <laughs> oh, I'm actually never annoyed. I, yeah, I guess when something is unfair, or when I when I see that you know people don't get treated right, that's. Um, that, that bothers me. But annoyed, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much always happy. I'm definitely happy that, yeah, that, I, that I can play in front of the fans, that I can make records, and um, yeah. And so I, you know, I have, I have no, no chance to get annoyed because, you know, it's all, it's all fantastic. And I, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful. And I love you guys with all my heart, for immer. So now, I don't know if you want to answer some of the questions that okay, they've asked. Okay, yeah, here. let's do it. So we could scroll, you could scroll down. Okay. Oh, if you can help me with it, thank you. No, no. Oh, do it with Doro and Angela would be killer. Oh, you guys, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. Actually, Angela, she sang on the uh, Celebrate song the full metal female version and yeah but a real duet with Angela yeah that's a great idea oh yeah yeah I have to ask her I think she's so cool I love her <laughs> yeah yeah the rights for the warlock name yeah I got I got the rights back to the name so that's good oh yeah and Thank you for the rock and roll. I salute you too, metalheads. You rock too, Max. Oh, that's a lot. With Arch Animal, Coil, 99, Animal, Coil, 99. Yeah, the Metal Female Voices Festival. That's, that's one of my favorite festivals. Next to Wacken, of course. Yeah, here, my, my proud Wacken t shirt, just, just for everybody to see. Yeah. Yeah. And and I just got it from Lemmy. That's a gift. I got it the other day, which oh, I love you. Um, yeah, yeah, the Metal Female Voice Festival. That's, that was a good festival. And yeah, that line up, yeah, Arch Enemy, Lacuna, Coil, Delane, uh, it would be good. But yeah, yeah, I have to push for that. <laughs> I gonna writing a book of your life? I don't know, man. I wanna do music, and it it would take yeah definitely a year out of. Yeah, out of my 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 head banging life, so I think it's um, yeah yeah I'm not ready for it. And if I do it, I want to do it right, but it takes a lot of yeah a lot of time to do it right. So 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 maybe eventually, but but not yet. <laughs> like to do some special show for your thirty anniversary. Yes, would you like to do some special show for your thirty anniversary? See you in Madrid. Oh, that's oh cool, cool, cool. Yes, I would love that and. Actually, our plan is to celebrate the 30th anniversary in Wacken, doing there one great show, you know, with many guests and the best light show, and then doing it in yeah in some other countries too. So, yeah, and um, or maybe in, in my hometown Düsseldorf, doing there, uh, you know, a smaller show like the ESS Dome. I think that was untoppable. 
but yeah, in Spain would be great, and in America, and, and oh God, in Brazil, yeah, I would come to back to Brazil, yeah, 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 we come back to Brazil next year, next year, there is, a, there is another South America tour in the making, Metal Female Voice was in America, yes, yeah, Peter, that's a good idea, yeah, I think, yeah, so much good stuff to do. Oh, except Endoro would be awesome in the US. I think so too. Actually, there was some talking about it, doing something together. So, yeah, so maybe, you know, it's uh, it, it's coming up. And, yeah. Oh, in Mexico. Hey, muchas gracias. Hi from Brazil. It's from Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sweden. Ah, yeah. Mm. There's an interesting question. Yeah, do you meditate or yoga or anything? Well, I do meditation, and um, yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, it takes my mind off, like you know, all the craziness in the day. So I do it, yeah, almost every day. Mm -hmm. But yoga, I tried doing it, but then I, I didn't do it anymore. Greetings from Hungary. Hey guys. Here we go. Oh, you're so sweet, guys. <laughs> hey. Hi, Leute. Ah, okay. Hey, Germany. Ich grüße euch. <laughs> from Germany back. Yeah, good morning. Hey guys, hey, for, <laughs> for rock and roll. Usually I get up like at two o'clock in the afternoon, go to the studio and now I'm up and like, oh, I feel like, oh, like <laughs> it's not a good metal time, but I'm so glad that you guys are, are here and with me. And yeah, and like I said, yeah, yesterday we filmed the, that metal show with Eddie Trunk and Jim and Don, and the cult was, you know, was there. It was awesome. So I think it will be aired on the, yeah, yeah in May, in May, 12th of May. So check it out, and I think you will like it. I hope. Ah, yeah, 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 with Ma, hey, Barcelona, yeah, 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 Fernando, yes, yes, I remember, of course, and say hi to Ma. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, we're not disappointed with you. I had it all, I'm, I'm too impatient to hear your new CD, I know he will not disappoint us. I miss you, I love you. Yes, I, I will, yeah, I'm so excited about a new CD, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys will, will love it. <laughs> I will give it my all. Um, oh, oh no, leg. Okay. All right. Is Doro on? Hmm. Doro on. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Dario. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Hey, guys, it was great to be. Yeah, with you guys, and I wish you know we could talk, and but I guess it was better than nothing. And I, I see you soon. I love you, and you know I love you, you know forever, forever, forever. And you mean everything to me. And hey, stay metal, and you know, and stay healthy. And I hope we will see each other on the next tour, festival, and all the best. And stay metal, guys and girls. Love you.